five books that every entrepreneur should read. Hey guys, Kim here from Your Social Voice and today I wanna to talk to you about the top five books that I recommend that every entrepreneur should read. Now, first off, a little asterisk, a little side note, this is not a full comprehensive list of every book that you should read. Um, these are just five that I know make a really big impact on entrepreneurs, on business owners, that I would highly recommend that you start off with. So I'm gonna give you some recommendations here on five that I recommend, why I recommend them, um, and then you guys can go about uh, chasing them down and, and, and going through them, but i also give you a few points on each, just to let you know um, the impact that it's had and the understanding that they've had for me um, by reading them as well. So like I said, these are by no means a full comprehensive list of every single book that I recommend, but these are five that I have on my shelf here every day. As you can see, I've got uh, a lot of books here all the books um, and like I said these are not this is not a full comprehensive list of them but this is five that I highly recommend so first book that I'm going to start with and it's a nice light easy read luckily is um, the entrepreneurial personality type by Alex Sharfen so your guide to the most important and misunderstood people among us this guide um, so this is only short it's only Let's see how many how many pages in total. It's only like sixty pages, I think. Yeah, fifty nine pages exactly. So um, it's a short book. However, if you are a entrepreneur, if you're someone who uh, is a business builder, someone who goes out there and wants to make a big impact on the world, this is a book that I highly recommend because this is not a um, a tactical step by step to do, but this is a guide to understanding who you are as an entrepreneur the types of things that you uh, you see, feel, hear in everyday life, and I highly, highly recommend getting it. I'm pretty sure he has a, um, uh, a free version that you can get. It's the handbook to achieving momentum and keeping it. So for anyone that doesn't know who Alex is, Alex is a man who teaches, and uh, along with his uh, wife and the, their company, Sharfen, um, really teaches entrepreneurs how to install systems in their business, which I love because we install marketing systems in people's businesses and figure out how to get them scaling, right? How to take away the pressure, the noise, the overwhelm, and really just focus on doing what you will put on this planet to do with your business and how to make it easier on yourself, on your team, on your partner. They also have a great um, uh, podcast called the Momentum Podcast. So, this is one that I highly recommend that you pick up and it's probably of all the books I'm gonna share, um, the cheapest and easiest to get, get because it's a free plus shipping offer. So this is the first one that I would highly recommend every entrepreneur go and get a copy of is an entrepreneurial personality type, number one. Number two, um, this one is a great book. However, I would probably get it on audio just because they, they have done probably some of the best, I would say, the best jobs when it comes to um, an audio book because there's like different voices for each of the different characters and it's really told in a parable or story format. And that is The Goal by Dr. Eli Goldratt. Um, Elia Goldratt. This book has had a profound impact on how I think about business, how I identify opportunities, how I identify constraints, because it's all based on uh, the theory of constraints is the whole book. And there's a second version as well, which is on marketing, which I have uh, the audio book on, on as well. And um, it's basically the goal is a process of ongoing improvement, just reading off the cover here, the best-selling business novel that introduced the theory of constraints and changed how America does business, three million copies sold. So. This, when you listen to it, it's all about a operating plan. It's all about a plant where they go through on a day-to-day -day basis, they looking at optimizing and improving because they're potentially going to be um, shut down or scaled up and I won't ruin the story for you because it's an interesting one to listen to. But it's all about identifying constraints within your business and that theory behind it. Now, don't get me wrong, it is not a cold, boring book. Um, it is told in a story in a parable format. So if you're a reader, get that, but otherwise they do a phenomenal job when it comes to the audio book. It's very interesting to listen to. Now, the theory of constraints is, um, and the way that I like to basically distill that down or make it simpler, if you will, is that if you imagine you've, your business as a hose, a garden hose, right? And there's all these um, kinks in it and it's, your business is that hose. At any one point in time, there is only one kink that is stopping the water from flowing. There's only one kink that's kind of holding back from all the water flowing through in your business. 
And that is un like, if you can think of it like that, that is the theory of constraints, which is going cool at each step th throughout your business. There's only one thing which is holding back uh, an avalanche of business, an avalanche of cash flow, an avalanche of leads or sales, whatever it might be. And it's all about optimizing that constraint or how we best unkink that to allow the water to flow through. Now, obviously being that your business is a big garden hose, right? Once you unkink one thing, there will be a new constraint to identify. But by understanding that theory and understanding the process of thinking about that and going, cool, what is the maximum, what they will call in the book, throughput? What is the maximum amount of volume that can go through there? Then you understand how to optimize and scale these things within your business. And it works really, really, really effectively. I cannot uh, recommend that book enough. Like I just love it. It's, it makes such an impact. It has such a um, profound effect on people. So yeah, ha highly, highly, highly recommend it. Now, number two, this is an old book, um, but I really like it, um, which is by a gentleman named Harvey McKay, which is Dig Your Well Before You're Thirsty, right? The only networking book you ever need. And I'm pretty sure if I my memory serves me right, the start of this book, he talks about having to wait. You you get uh, basically a knock on the door at midnight and someone says to you, look, you need to get $20,000 for um, an operation for your wife and you've got no money in the bank. Now, dig your wealth before you're thirsty, identifies and going, cool, how many people could you call up in your network that you've laid down such goodwill with that you, you know, you've got so many brownie points with it, however you want to call it, that you would have, you know, you'd make one call and someone would give you a hundred grand. You, you wouldn't even have to call a second person. So if you think about that, it's all about providing massive amounts of value. And look, you may never need it. You may never need to get a return. You may never need to call on that value that you've provided in the marketplace. But if you do, you've dug your well, well and truly before you need it, if that makes sense. So look, I, again, I highly like this one because really it's about providing massive value to the marketplace, digging your well, well and truly before you are thirsty. So I highly recommend this one for, for understanding really the principles of building contacts and networking, because a lot of time people go to networking events or they want to build a network I think to tap into it, to extrapolate value out of it. And I think that you should go into it and build a network out based on the provision of value, based on going, look, I don't really care if um, I need something from someone else ever, but I wanna provide as much value as possible to the marketplace. So dig your well before you're thirsty. Great book there by Harvey McKay. Um, next is why one of my, uh, one of the, the best business people I've probably ever listened to and heard from and learned from, which is Getting Everything You Can Out of All You've Got by Jay Abraham. So this is 21 ways you can outthink, outperform, and out-earn the competition. Real applicable action steps that can't miss. Uh, a load of techniques to turn your customers into your best sales force. Phenomenal, articulate, amazing. Gives you the edge you need during times of great opportunity. Jay Abraham is just a... Uh, a legend amongst legends, and funnily enough, on the back, he's got uh, uh, Harvey McKay as one of his um, <laughs> uh, action, uh, sorry, not action steps, one of his testimonials on here. So um, he's a great number on here. And look, really, you if you can learn and hear from this guy, um, I think he's known, the, now he's like a $13 billion man, added $13 billion to businesses around the world. Phenomenal. And it just goes to show you around how a lot of the time we think we need more. We think that we need more leads, more sales, etc. And we've got to spend more on marketing, whatever it might be. But you really need to optimize and focus on getting all you can out of all you've got. So I really, really, really um, recommend this book. And it's it's, uh, it's a great read for anyone that's a CEO, entrepreneur, just to really understand uh, people, understand business, understand the opportunities that lie within you. And if you stack all these books together, you're, uh, you're gonna be a, uh, a gun, that's for sure. Now, last but uh, certainly not least is uh, Breakthrough Advertising by Eugene Schwartz. Now, this book, hardcover book, probably the, or I should say well and truly, is gonna be the most expensive of all these books if you can get a copy. Um, but this is really the handbook on advertising, the handbook on marketing, the handbook on writing ad copy, and really understanding business and business structures and where businesses are at. Now, 
again, I will be honest, I haven't read every single part of this book, but I know that when I have a need, when I have a desire, when I need to figure something out, it's my it's my handbook, it's my guide. Um, as you can see, I've got you know pages and things um, tabbed and tagged there so that I can always refer to them. And anytime I do a presentation um, on anything, I read through that, I, I try and understand and delve into that so that I can really figure out um, what's going on and how to overcome it. And look, it's um, again, it's probably maybe four or five times the price of any of those other books. Um, a lot times the price of uh, of Alex Sharpens because you can get a, a free copy, I think, you just pay shipping. But wow, the, that book is amazing. And look, every single one of those is chosen for a particular reason because if you stack them all together, that is like these are some of the best books, I would say, that you can read as a business owner. These five, um, look, and as I said, there's, I have tons more to choose from, but these are five quintessential ones I think to start off with. We'll probably do another video on like the five best marketing books, and this one will probably come back into it, uh, for sure, along with a few others on the shelf. But guys, I really hope that you've been able to take that away. Please go out and get yourself a copy of these books. Um, I highly recommend them. We'll probably share a link to um, Alex Sharpens just so it's easy for you guys to find. But I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And if you like this video, please give me a little thumbs up so that you're enjoying this content. Drop a comment down below and let me know what else, if there's anything else you would like us to review, to feedback, to give you guys content-wise. And as always, subscribe so that you get these videos first before anyone else. And uh, we may have a few sneaky things coming up as our subscribers, so make sure you subscribe. Right, hint, hint. Guys, until next time, I'm Kim Barrett. Y'all have been awesome. Adios.